fire engines not come. How to unseize your engine. Now, the first thing you can try is just trying the Dynastar on the battery. Um, but if you can't do that, take off the front cover and you can see this bolt. So you've got a 24mm nut and you want a nice ring spanner and you can probably jog it round. Okay, this one I've just unseized. It came in today. Somebody threw it out. It's actually a really nice engine, but it seized um, after it was taken out of the boat, just from storage. So I took the spark plug out, put WD-40 in the spark plug hole, and through the carb hole. But still, I couldn't get it done. Now, you don't want to go more than about 80 foot-pound on here, but I then tried um, a bit more torque, with one meter bar and a 24mm socket and I was going like this um, and I couldn't do it I was going to break out my studs watch out for this technique because you might break your rubber mountings if you put too much force but it wouldn't move okay so I thought alright what's next is the crowbar and I'm getting to something very clever here it's not the crowbar and if you're careful watch out for the electronics but you can get the crowbar jammed not through the hole like that but just on the edge so it's not hurting electronics and that will give you more torque but you're not using the nut if the nut's loose don't use this method because you haven't got enough grip on the taper and you'll just shred off the woodruff key so you'll turn the flywheel but you'll shred off the woodruff key so that must not be loose if you try this okay but again it wouldn't go so that way was unsuccessful and then I come to my final trick I'm not the inventor of this but it's brilliant it's called a hydraulic spark plug so you know what a normal spark plug looks like you've got some um, the top right so what you do is you hacksaw the top off and then you drill through the spark plug and you put a tube through I had a bit of um, aluminium tube which was um, fat enough to go through sorry thin enough to go through my drill hole but it had a step on it can't remember when I got that but uh, it means that it sits and seals on this base but you've got a tube and then I threaded a metric hole I think this bit's aluminium actually and just screwed in a grease nipple which you can buy separately and that's how I made that I heard this 20 years ago from a guy speaking on a forum about a hydraulic spark plug he used to unseize his two-stroke engine. The problem with the um, two-stroke here, of course, you can't take the cylinder head off. If you could, you could see the top of the piston and hit it with a lump of wood and a hammer, soak it all nice and get it unseized that way, but you can't. It's a one-piece casting. So this trick works. Now, I personally had a look at the exhaust. And um, if you look at this one, I had it in a position. You see the piston rings there? If I put it in a position, if the piston rings, all three of them are down, the oil won't work because it will just leak out an exhaust port. But I had it so I could just see the bottom, just like that, of the lowest of the three rings that means that the top ring is probably sealing and I to save grease I then filled up this cavity with oil Show you that. so I had this little um, tube and I put oil down here until it started leaking out the top and then I knew I had it filled with oil and um, that's cool and then you screw in your hydraulic spark plug, you connect your grease gun, which is a real, took me half an hour to prime this, and you pump like crazy. Make sure you don't get any air locks and you can feel the resistance as you're pumping it in. And the other thing I did is so I knew it was moving, that was its seized position there, okay. I put some marks on the flywheel with paint and as I was pumping I heard some clicking noises and this started to rotate on its own like the invisible man and I knew then once you've got a few millimeters of movement 
you can just get the spanner on here and zing it round. Anyway, this engine is lovely and free instantly. It was just a kind of like a glue bond with the iron rings on the iron cylinder. Because they took the carburetor off, it really didn't help. And the air gets in there and it will rust the rings to the cylinder. So with a jolt like that, once they're free, the other nice thing is the oil going down lubricates the rings and pistons. So I know when I take the cylinder off to check it's um, not scratched, it's going to be an easy job now because all that oil would have been forced down the sides of the piston. Okay, so one th thing, this is for, it's just the initial check. So this is what I did, is I used a screwdriver through the spark plug hole to feel how high the piston is. And because I could move it that much, I knew it wasn't at the top. All right? So, uh, if you don't want to take the exhaust off, I'm going to give you a measurement here, which might be useful. So, exactly how much. So if I push this screwdriver down as vertically as I can, till it touches the piston, that was its seized position, and I'd suggest any lower, it won't work. I'll hold that, okay, and I will measure and tell you. So I've got 90, 90 millimetres, okay. So if you can get a screwdriver level with the top, further down than 90 millimetres, I'm sorry, but this won't work. Um, in which case, how are you going to get it off? Uh, I've got a special hydraulic 20 ton press device that will do it, but it means disassembling the whole flywheel, then the crankcase, then I have to take apart the um, the, the con rod, and then I've got a special thing which I had an engineer make, and it will pull it out with 20 tons force. But if you've got less than 90 millimeters, okay, you can use this method, hydraulic spark plug. Why am I telling you this? Trade secrets? I'll tell you why, because I'm getting older now. And honestly, I don't want to have to come out to your boat and um, use this. You could be in a different country, and it's a really difficult thing to take the engine out and send it to me in the UK to do this. So if you're stuck like that, and you want to unseize it, now you know the techniques. First way, Dynastart. Second way, try a 24mm ring spanner on the flywheel nut. Third way, try a 24mm socket with a longer extension bar, but don't try to undo the nut. That's the next way, and run out of fingers here, you crowbar carefully in the Webson flywheel. And finally, if it's less than 90 millimeters deep from the top, spark plug hydraulic technique. Okay. Now, please remember, I know you guys like to save money, but this engine's dead without a specialist. As you know, I'm doing all sorts of enhancements in the future, selling used and second-hand refurbished parts for you guys. Um, so remember me, because if I can't continue, then you won't get any support like this. You'll be stuck. So I'm supporting all of you. Support me. Use my shop, viaengines.com. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. More videos soon.